Welcome in on a Tuesday, a balmy Tuesday. Rico nice. back in the saddle. And, of course, the Lions made moves at like 6.02 last night after we got off the air. So we get to unpack that today. Wait, we don't get to talk about the Colonel seasoning? I was no, really hoping we, we could. <laughs> I will guide you. I want to – can I – David, let me ask you a question. I don't want to bury the lead, but, like, Rico has mastered the art of player A, player B. I wanted to give Rico a gift as we start our show. And if you're a Lions fan, I think this is um, this is not a perfect example. Let me say that. And this lacks some nuance. But I, I'm doing it partially for effect because I want to set a tone today. Now, as a PSA, I will tell you, I can speak for Rico in this regard only. Rico and I do not hate Carlton Davis. We are not making fun of Carlton Davis. But Rico and I also, which I know many of you are afraid to talk for fear of retribution from the Brad bots, we're not happy. So let, let me just, I want to offer you player A, player B to kind of set the tone. And I want you to play along, Rico. Okay. So I had a buddy send this to me. And it's, um, as I said, it's imperfect but it is something at least that sparks a conversation, okay? Player A, and would you guys mind if I rounded numbers just so it makes it easier yeah. for everyone to digest? Yeah. Okay. Six and point six and higher yeah. roundup. Yeah. Yeah, so player A played 500 coverage snaps. Okay. Player B played? Just, just last season. Yep. Yeah. Okay. 550 coverage snaps, so 500 to 550. Player A, in his 500 snaps, was targeted 71 times. Player B, in 550, targeted 90 times. Okay? Player A gave up 47 catches. Player B, 57. Yards allowed. Player A, 600. Player B, call it 825. Player A had three interceptions. Player B had two. Player A allowed seven touchdowns. Player B allowed five. Passer rating allowed. Player A, mm -hmm. call it 108. Player B, 103. Player A made $943,000. Player B made $14.5 Player B is Carlton Davis. <laughs> you know, you know, I love this game because I was gonna say I think player B is Carlton yeah. Davis. Do you know who player A is? Jerry Jacobs. Nailed it. A guy that Lions fans wanted thrown out of a space cannon. Had a similar year last year, so I said, okay. My 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 idiot friend sent this to me. I know Rico right now. He's gonna need a wet wipe. He's 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 one step from lighting a cigarette post sex. Good he was, for you. He was so hoping so I was wrong on Jerry Jacobs. I'm dead serious. So what I said is okay. <laughs> you that's, know what? That lacks content. Thank you. Thank you. That, that, Thank you. <laughs> that's how you do a player A, player B, right there. I learned from the best. <laughs> so I said, but that's not enough. Let me let me put more context within this. And I said, okay, also imperfect, but another reference point would be pro football focus. Because, man, if you drive in, you'd think the Lions, listening to some of these other shows, you'd think the Lions just signed Dick Knight Train Lane. Do you know where Carlton Davis ranked, according to Pro Football Focus last year, amongst qualified cornerbacks? There were 98 cornerbacks that qualified, played enough snaps. Essentially, if you view it as every team's one, two, three. Right. You know where Jacobs ran, or uh, where Mr. Carlton Davis ranked? 50th? 68th. Okay. 68th. Now, I said, okay, but let me go further. Injuries, and that's a thing with Carlton Davis. He's missed 16 games over the course of the last three years. Right. At least four games a year. It's a problem. Here's the issue I take. And this is where I, I want to get the number out. Because, again, I don't hate him. I don't. But I think he's a lot more like Sutton than he is Legarius Sneed. <laughs> Carlton Davis has been declining for three years, according to PFF. Mm -hmm. And then I always try to do this with teams when they make deals. 
okay? If Carlton Davis is truly this undeniable CB1, a top 15 corner in this league, why did Tampa choose to pay six other people before paying him and making his cap hit zero? Uh Uh-oh. Why would they pay those players knowing it would cost them Carlton Davis? Mike, I've always said there are certain positions that you find the money for. Cornerback CB1, you find a way to keep that person on your roster. Edge rusher one, left tackle. But here's your problem. He got outplayed by Jamal Dean on the other side, his own teammate. Now, again, you can claim if you want to be lazy about it. Well, he's a cap hit. Well, hold on. Restructuring this man's deal to keep CB1 on the team? That would make his cap hit zero. Why didn't they do it? So understand something. As we start today, this is not me and Rico treating this topic or player like a toilet. We're not doing that. See, does it help your team to have Carlton Davis? Sure it does. But what we don't need to do, and I'll only speak for myself here, Rico, you do what you want to do. I do not have to hand out Golden Penis Awards at every move Brad Holmes makes because I told you going into this offseason where my mindset was. I believe in you guys. I believe you're a Super Bowl team. And as much good work as Brad Holmes has done, the hardest job, and it's the one John Lynch hasn't been able to complete yet, who's a great GM, is winning a Super Bowl. I needed impact players. I I, I think it is dishonest to treat Carlton Davis like an impact corner. And pardon me if right as the show started, they signed another nobody from the Raiders. They're telling you they're not making an impact move there. That's actually telling me you're not drafting anybody. No, and I don't think you're taking anybody because you're just going to stockpile broken corners and hope that somebody rises up. Because, Mike, you, you said Cam Sutton 2.0, and I thought about that. But really, with the injury status, maybe it's Mosley 2.0. No, you, he's you're better taking than damage Cam goods. Sutton. I'm making a point that if it's the spirit of Detroit or a scales of justice here, they're closer to equal than you're comfortable admitting. Is he better than Sutton? Yes, I'll say it for the people in the back. But he's a lot more like Sutton, which is CB1 light, and he's declining, and he's oft injured, and now you're going to pay him. Because there's no way you traded a third-round pick for a one-year rental. That wouldn't make any sense. And I'm with Rico. You bring him in, the always injured Marcus Davenport. Like, we started the offseason, and hey, man, They can foreshadow and run their program the way they want. You as a paying customer or a fan of this team have a right to say, I don't necessarily agree with it. Because you know what I saw yesterday? I saw the Giants make an investment in their guy in a way that you refuse to invest in Aiden. And the Giants are not a good franchise. But Brian Burns for a second round pick and a fifth next year. But what about the monies? I don't care. It's not real. Oh, we got to pay Sam Laporta in 2027. Okay, first of all, you may not be alive in 2027. And second of all, you may not be in your Super Bowl window. No. Don't care. This is where I always say the Lions are new money. They got their money, and they've taken it all, and they put it in their mattress. Let me let me tell you what I think part of this is. And I'm not trying to be insulting or provocative. I'm, I'm shooting you straight. It feels very arrogant. It feels very, hey, no, it hey, is. look at what we did for you. You this? can't question us. We're going to go get misfit toys, and it's all going to work out. I, I don't you know what? love that. And here's the thing. And you could disagree. 248-539-9797. you just hung. Josh on the phone lines, if you're out there. Josh, do not hang up. I want you to call back. Because, Josh, you're everything wrong with this community. I want to say that. Not the fentanyl crisis. Not hunger in the streets or children starving. You, Josh, you're the problem. Do you know what Josh was going to say? Kenny just spoke in the talk back. Look at what Brad has done for us. You don't get to question him. You know how I spell Josh in Spanish? F you. I mean, that is a literal Brad bot, and that's how we started the day. Mm-hmm. I didn't even get through the data before Josh was so triggered to defend a total stranger who, I, I, does he pay your mortgage? Are you friends with Brad Holmes? No. Did we have a parade down Woodward? I don't like the fact that they keep going out and getting uh, reclamation projects, fixer-uppers. Not when you got the money to get the real McCoy. Reminds me 
of another GM in this town. Troy who Weaver. likes to go out and gets the broken down pieces. I can fix this guy. I can. I, oh, all you needed was some good coaching, a little TLC. No, you were just a bad player. You were often injured. And guess what? You stayed injured the entire time. And I will say this for the people in the back. Obviously, there is more time. They could make a move that will greatly change my opinion. But the last I checked, the decent radio shows in this industry, you react to things live. You don't get to just say, well, I'm just going to well, wait and see, buckaroo. Here's where you should be angry. Here's where you should be upset, Detroit, because all the teams that are you're going to be fighting with to get that number one seed they all to get better. to the Super Bowl – all jumped into the deep end yesterday. You're still dipping your toe saying, oh, the water's a little chilly. Yeah, and again, are there still good football players? Yes. But when you make but that pool is drying up because oh, now the good players are now going to different teams. Oh, and by the way, your next door neighbor, the Packers, got better yesterday. I just don't understand the absence of free thinking. I don't. I can explain it to you. I mean, I, I, I really don't understand how you give up as a human being your ability in sports to think. Like, it's your team. Mike. It's okay for me to say I want to get better players than Carlton Davis. And then I present a case. I'm not shredding it. I'm giving you data. And, oh, well, he was good when he played man. Right, except he barely played man. Small sample size. That's like saying a radio host is good three times a month. Right. You're that filling in. Like, yeah, he's great. Yeah, he doesn't have to do it every day. But. Go ahead. I'm I sorry. Can, I'll explain this to you next. PSA, I don't hate it. <laughs> Just not putting up a statue yet.